What's going on YouTube? These are my ultimate DIY wooden ramps. I built these for driving my truck up on to either change the oil or drive our car up on to change the oil on that. And also taking them apart makes them lighter to get around. And I'll show you the video here. Makes it real nice for when I drive my lawn tractor up on here. I can take this ramp off and I can get up under the lawn tractor to take off my blades to sharpen the blades on my lawn tractor. So through, through this video, I'm going to show you and try to go over some tricks on how to cut some of these angles. Like for instance, this angle was not the easiest angle to cut. That's a long uh, 15 degree angle to cut. But I'll go over some tricks of stuff that would, would have probably been easier for me that I didn't even do it that way, but I'm going to show you. So hopefully it'll be easier for you. It would be nice to have a miter saw to do this, but I'm sure I guess you could do it with a circular saw or, or maybe even a hand saw if you want. But I would recommend going and trying to borrow your buddy's circular saw or miter saw. All right, first I'm going to go over all the pieces that you're going to need to cut. And at the end of the video here, I'll let you know how many two by fours I come up with what you're going to need to build this. Because I, I actually used a lot of scraps that I had laying around my shop. I'm sure a lot of you guys that are woodworkers out there probably already have little scrap pieces of two by four. I've probably burned up hundreds of these over the years, just these little ones. All right. Let's go over all your pieces first and I'm gonna put this down in the description and write this up for you so you don't have to sit here and keep trying to take notes. And I'll also take a picture of this drawing that I got to help you out a little bit along with listening to me. All right, let's go over the ramp section first. And there's three two by fours here. Uh, you could, if you're not putting a half ton truck up here, you could probably skip this middle two by four easy. But I don't even know if I needed it, but I like to overbuild everything. So, all right, the ramp for two ramps, all these pieces I'm going to go over is for two of each, unless you just want to drive your car or truck up sideways. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but all right, for the ramp, you're going to need two two pieces of two by 12 cut 28 inches long and you're going to need six two by fours 23 and a quarter inches long <clears throat> that's for the two ramps put that back on there oh and the the bolts or lag screws you're going to need i I don't think it really matters. I think these are 3 8 inch bolts here and they got at least be four inches long though because I put that bolt down to here in the wood. Well, I guess I can tell you before I forget. The one thing I like to do is I take a, a drill bit and I put a piece of tape on the drill bit so I knew exactly how far to drill down in. And I marked a line on that when you have this one up here like this this is this is how I put these bolts in here like I said they it doesn't really matter what size they are I don't think just so you have I had four different well these two match and those two match that were just in my shop these are 3 8 inch I think the ones on that ramp are a half inch but I took my speed square and I just laid it on there like that and I drew a line so I knew they were going to match. Now, I think you could even go straight down, I think, if you wanted. I, it's just mainly so that ramp doesn't slide off of there. It ain't going to go anywhere. That's how I put them bolts in. And I measured over like an inch and three quarters, which is halfway on a two by four. So it puts your hole down here in the center of that two by four. So go over an inch and three quarters and make a mark. And then with that, where that line is right here, you would take your speed square and make a mark there. So you'd know exactly where to put that screw. Now this one is gonna be straight up and down on this, on the ramp when you screw when you drill that hole down. And I also took another drill bit that is bigger 
than the bolt or screw, so it makes it easy to get in there. And I marked that one with some tape right here so I didn't drill down, down through this two by four too far. I just drilled into that two by four that far, which is a little bit further than that bolt sticks up. <clears throat> Here's the end, other end of the bolt that I cut off and then I ground these edges down. All right, now let's go over the pieces. Oh, well, we did the ramp. <clears throat> now this base, you're gonna need 10 two by fours, 11 and a half inches, which is this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one, and then the same on the other ramp. And you're gonna need four two by fours, 20 inches long, which is this two by four and that two by four back there on the other side, this one and the one on the other, and this one over here. And then on the other ramp, like I keep saying. Then you're gonna need four two by fours, 23 inches long, which are these two by fours right here. This one and the one on the other side. We need to see, is, see how this is all built in here. Then you're gonna need, now this part here, you could probably do a little different if you want, but I was, I guess, picky. So I took a, a two by eight. You're gonna need four, yeah, four two by eights. One, two, and then the two on the other one. So I took four two by eights, 11 and a half inches long, and then I ripped them down to six and a half inches. That's how wide it is. Now you could probably maybe take just a two by six if you want, if you got laying around and then it just wouldn't have as much space here. But I wanted that to match that. They're both three and a half, three and a half, three and a half. I guess I was picky. And then cut two two by 12s, 20 inches long, and that's this top right here. And mine are treated. Uh, if you can get a two by 12 that's not treated, I'm sure that'd be fine. All right, that's all the pieces you gotta cut. Like I said, I'll, just, I'll put that down in the description along with how many two by fours you're gonna need and how many two by eights you're gonna need unless you change that to a two by six, which would maybe be a little cheaper. Or you, I think you could even make these like a two by two, two by fours here and two, two by fours here. I don't know if, definitely down here, two, two by fours would probably be fine. Up here, I kind of like that being connected together, but I'm sure it would be okay if, if you, cause I, I glued and screwed all this stuff together. I think it would hold a tank really. All right, let me try to go over how I did some of these cuts. All right, let's talk about this board right here, real simple. Set your table saw for three eighths of an inch, your fence on your table saw, and then set your table saw for 15 degree. Just like so, I got my fence set up, three eighths of an inch, 15 degree, and you're gonna, then you'll take your board, this is not the right size, but you'll take your board and you'll run it through there. Just be very careful. I would use push sticks and maybe a couple push sticks so you don't cut your fingers off. All right, that's how you cut. That's how you cut that board. And the rest of these are all simple, sim real easy cuts. Now let's talk about the ramp. That's a little bit, a little harder. All right, the, the first cut you're gonna do on this ramp is that top board, the top board, the the board that your tires are gonna drive on, which is your two by 12, 28 inches long, your 28 inch two by 12. You're gonna, the first cut you will do before you connect all these two by fours on will be a 15 degree angle cut right there. And I, I did that on my table saw. Now that's where I said you may need a hand saw or a really sharp blade on a saw though to finish cutting it because my blade does not cut that deep. Set your fence at say an eighth of an inch. If you know an easier way to cut these angles, please put it down in the comments. But just look at that, think of this as my two by 12, my 28 inch two by 12. And I just set it like that, 15 degrees. I slid it through using push sticks. You got some push sticks and maybe a piece of wood. Pushing this ain't so bad, but just 
you're taking a big chunk of wood out of that. So hopefully you have a real good sharp blade and push it real slowly so you don't kill your saw or kick a breaker and you'll cut that angle off. But like I said, it's only kind of cut so far, then the rest you're gonna have to use a saw saw or hand saw. Another trick I have for my table saw while I'm at it, is you can use some of this dry lube Teflon. It's for your blade. You just spray that on your, on your blade before you cut and it definitely seems to help. I'll put some of that down in the description if you want to buy that or you could just go to Lowe's and buy it, whatever. I got three two by fours on each ramp. So we're going to take, you're going to have six of them all together. So you're going to have three to cut this angle easier and safer. You're going to have three set of two by fours, just like this. At least this is how I would do it. This ain't how I did it. So it'd be a lot easier this way and just screw these together. Screw that on an angle because if you don't, you're going to go right into your workbench. And make sure you keep it back because that down here, you're going to cut an angle. All right, you got them screwed together. Now that's just going to be temporary. This is, you all take this apart when you get these angles cut. This is just to cut this angle. It would make it a lot easier. Then, first set your miter saw to 15 degrees. Set that for 15 degrees. Lay that board there, lay that board there. You're gonna take your, you're gonna, like I said, you're gonna have three set like this. Take this, you can sit that against there. And you'll cut like this on one side. Then, don't flip it over like this and cut this side. Flip it around and cut the other board. This one that I didn't cut yet. You can flip it around and you cut that side. This cuts is a little scary, but you, if you hook this up, sometimes it makes it easier, but I'm not gonna do that. That's what I did when I did mine. Just cause it, when you go down, it kind of hits. Maybe your saw is different than mine. But you go over, cut the other board. Good enough. So you do, do your three set of boards that you're gonna have screwed together like that. That'll get that angle simple. Make sure you wear hearing protection. Okay, that makes these angles easy. You'll have all six of them cut. Then you would take these apart. Now you're gonna cut that angle first before you cut this angle and this angle. This, these two angles get cut at the same time. Take all them apart and you'll mount these boards onto your two by 12 before, like I said, before you cut this angle, you line up all them ends, line them all up flush. Kinda, this is like a side view of it. It'll be lined up like that. That dotted line is showing the piece that you will cut out. That'll be your last cut. All right. So you got them all glued and screwed on there before you cut this angle. And then this angle is the same thing, or that angle there is very simple. So you go back to zero or go back to a 90, then you will set your miter saw to 15 degrees like that. And this will be your last cut. You cut, just cut that, just cut the end right off. That's what that is, 15 degrees. All right, that's, I think that's everything for your ramp. That's all I can think to tell you on how to cut this ramp out and hopefully make it a little easier than it was for me. <clears throat> Please put in the comments if you think of any way to make this a little easier. Also, I put my handles on an angle because when I pick these up, I don't know how your hands are, but when I stand, my hands are automatically twist a little bit. And I can pick this one up and pick my other one up, and they, they it's really makes it a lot more comfortable is why they're at an angle. Just in case you want to put your handles on an angle, it really don't matter. 
I think my wife could even pick them up like that. She's probably gonna definitely give me heck for putting that in the video. She won't watch this, I don't think. All right, the last thing I'm gonna like tell you, and I'll, like I said, I'll put it down in the description, is I come up with to build this exactly like I build it with this being a two by eight. Now you could replace that, like I said, with two by fours or two by six. You're gonna need five two by fours, eight foot long, one two by 12, eight foot long, and then you can skip this last board if you just make these two by fours, or if you got a scrap piece of two by eight or two by six laying around. But if not, you're gonna need one two by eight, eight foot long. Problem with that is you're only gonna use about half of that. That's why I said you could maybe try to make this different if you want. I have a lot of scrap pieces laying around. And then you're gonna need three inch screws and wood glue, and maybe two handles if you want. It makes carrying them a lot easier. All right, well, that's my ultimate DIY wooden ramps. I hope I didn't confuse you at all. Please put something down in the comments, anything. If you have a question, put it down in the comments. If you think I did a great job, put it down in the comments. Comments help me out a lot on YouTube. And please hit that subscribe button to help me out. That way you always have this video and you can check out any of the other videos I have on my car, my truck, my lawn tractors, my pellet stove, my camper. It's all on my YouTube channel. Uh, thank you very much for watching my video. God bless. Have a great day and stay safe out there.